Hello CCSD family, I'm Superintendent Anita Huggins here to provide you with an encouraging update on our fiscal year 2025 budget. I'm delighted to share that last night the Board of Trustees unanimously recommended the FY25 budget for its first reading next Monday, May 20th. This includes not only a $7,500 raise across the entire teacher pay schedule for educators, but also a boost to salaries for classified staff to 100% of market value. District and school staff were also recently involved in a re-evaluation of DBM classifications for most school-based classified positions. The review led to additional compensation increases for most of our school-based classified employees. This is incredibly exciting. Such is designed to attract and retain valued staff members who will keep our system's foundation strong and better equipped to improve outcomes for all students. District leaders and school administrators have also been collaborating for the past several weeks, developing plans that we believe will best serve children in all of our schools throughout the county through the proposed Weighted Student Formula, or WSF. The WSF is the first of its kind here in South Carolina and is designed to provide more resources to schools based on the number of pupils in poverty, multilingual learners, and students with disabilities. We use the number of students in each category at each school to determine how funds are divided across the district. For every three elementary school students, for example, who belong to one of those categories, the school will add one student to the WSF enrollment for allocation purposes. At the middle and high school level, those numbers are different, one to four in our middle schools and one to six in our high schools. The beauty of the WSF is that it doesn't pull or take away from one school to give to another. Instead, all schools receive additional resources used to serve our most vulnerable students through the model. And school leaders and members of school communities who know their students best have the flexibility and autonomy to determine what those resources are, either additional staff members or programs that will have a direct impact on these three specific student groups. The budget moves to its first official reading next Monday evening, May 20th and will advance to its second reading on June the 24th. There will also be a public hearing for the budget on June 24th. We encourage you to share your thoughts about the budget and to attend meetings and this hearing. Our goal is to be as transparent as possible throughout this process, and I will work with our district staff and principals to keep you well informed. Special thanks to our cabinet members for their incredible work on this budget particularly our new Chief Financial Officer, Daniel Prentice, and our Chief of Human Resources, Bill Brigman. We believe this budget has the potential to change what public education looks like here in Charleston, and it could set the standard for South Carolina. It's an exciting day in CCSD, and I'm honored to lead alongside each of you. Best wishes for the most successful close to this school year. Enjoy the summer.